Pope Formosus, also known as Formosus I, was the pontiff of the Roman Catholic Church between 891 and 896. During his short pontificate, he faced challenges, including conflicts with the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire and controversies involving the appointment of bishops. Although his story is relatively unknown, Pope Fomoris played an important role in the development of the Catholic Church during the 9th century. Fomoris was born in Rome around 816. He grew up in a noble family and became a clergyman at a young age. In 864, he was consecrated Bishop of Porto, a city located about 10 kilometers north of Rome. He held the position for about 25 years, during which time he became involved in political and religious issues. During his tenure as Bishop of Porto, Formosus appointed several bishops without the Pope's approval. These bishops were accused of simony, that is, selling divine favors, blessings, or ecclesiastical offices. When Formosus became Pope, his opponents began to use these appointments to undermine his authority. In 891, Pope Stephen VI died, and Formosus was elected successor. His election was a surprise, as he was not one of the favorites, but he quickly proved to be a strong and determined leader. Formosus made several reforms in the church, restored the clergy, banned nepotism, and imposed a stricter code of conduct for church officials. Despite poorly managing his office, Formosus's pontificate was marked by conflicts with the Holy Roman Emperor Arnulf of Carinthia, who had recently invaded Italy and was trying to control the country. Arnulf disliked the Pope's regional influence and pressured him to resign from office. Formosus resisted Arnulf's pressure, but the conflicts between the two increased. In 895, the Emperor convened a council in Rome, accusing the Pope of several crimes, including perjury, treason, and simony. Formosus defended himself before a council, mainly composed of clerics appointed by Arnulf. He denied all charges and was found not guilty at the trial. However, after Formosus' death in 896, Arnulf ordered that his body be exhumed and submitted to a posthumous trial. A new council was convened, and this time, Formosus was found guilty of all charges. His body was stripped of the pontifical garments and thrown into a river. Formosus' exhumation and his posthumous trial were a scandal at the time. Many members of the church and society at large were outraged at the treatment of the dead pope. Arnulf's successor, Emperor Lambert of Spoleto, restored Formosus' reputation and condemned the actions of his predecessor. Despite the challenges during his pontificate, Pope Formosus left a legacy in the Catholic Church. He was remembered for his reforms, his defense of the Church's independence from the Empire, and his fight against simony. His martyrdom and the subsequent restoration of his reputation also serve as a reminder of the power of the Church when it comes to challenging secular authority. Today, Pope Formosus is primarily remembered for his exhumation and posthumous trial, one of the darkest moments in Catholic Church history. But his life and legacy are much more than that. He was a courageous and resolute leader who fought for a more just and independent church. Although his life was brief and tumultuous, his influence is still felt in the Catholic Church today.